Boy Jay Ben back at you with another video. Um, you know, I'm back at school. <laughs> Hello. Uh, I'm in my new spot. I knew I'm in a new dorm. I'm already in the dorm. Um, and it is the first day of classes. You know how that goes. So had to do a little video. Um, I'm a junior now. If you remember, two years ago, y'all saw my first move-in video. <coughs> <coughs> I saw my first move-in video. Um, I was a freshman, you know, raised with college experience. I'm two years into it. If I, you know, hey. Hey, go check that video. Go check, go check that video. If you ain't seen it yet. Link in bio. Link in or uh, link in description. Link down below. Go drop my mic and subscribe. But yeah, um, now it was two years ago. Now I'm a junior. Time flew like that, honestly. So, uh, junior now. And I'm just ready. I'm just ready to do this work, man. I'm just, I'm just ready to get to it, you know. So first day of classes. It's low key a Thursday. Um, what's today's date? Today's the twelfth. And this is my first day of classes. But like, you know, hey, first day of school, right? <laughs> but anyway, I'll give y'all a quick little room tour. Um, uh, okay. All right. Don't touch the ground. Oh, you keep the feet. Toes out, holes out. Am I right? But yeah. <laughs> uh, you got the closet right here. We zoom, zoom out. Um, you know we got the drip in here at all time. You know drip. I'm not gonna open these cabinets because they, you know, a little messy. But you know it's dripping there. Got my desk. You feel me? With the whiteboard to keep me organized, keep your boy on track. Computer, all that, blah blah blah. Here goes the bed. You know the best bed you might ever see, most comfortable bed you might ever see in a dorm. You feel me? Just because it's mine, no reason. Um, got some more, got the jewel, the accessories over here, with the food, you know I gotta keep the food with me, <laughs> got the couch, I had brought a whole couch here, shout, shout out to OG, you know I brought a whole couch with me, brought an old couch with me, why is it, stop, focus, um, brought the old couch, and I got a flag, well, I had two, there's a flag right here actually, but it fell down, <laughs> you hear me, but uh, you know, got a little table-ish, slash, Band slash storage slash dining table, whatever you want to call it. And I got my systems over here. <laughs> got my Xbox and I got my PlayStation. With my TV. Actually, fun story. Uh, oh, and my mirror. Hey, fun story about my TV though. Um, I had brought a different one actually. Uh, it was way bigger, like a 50 inch or something like that, and it broke. I literally broke it like the first day. <laughs> so, uh, I'll tell a story about it later, but like, yeah, it's, it's under my bed actually, so I'll show it and whatever. Or I might do a prank with it actually, but um, you know, I'm gonna get ready for class. You know, got class in about an hour, hour or so. So uh, your boys gonna get ready. Hey, um, yeah, just sit here and vibe with me. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Uh, hold on, let me take let me take a sip of my lemonade real quick. Or my 
Tropicana, my Tropicana. That's refreshing. Um, what do? What's good, YouTube? It's your boy J Band. Back at you. Um, come at you with a video, you know, on my new couch, my new comfortable couch. Oh my God, this couch is so comfortable. Um, I am back in Chicago. It's great to be alive. We're talking to be alive. Uh, I had a great summer. I was in LA for the summer. Had a great time. I need. I should might drop like a montage, like a David Dobrik's David Dobrik type of vlog or something on it. You know, I had a job in LA. I worked at um, Loyola Marymount University with my boy Tony. We was there for like six weeks, um, just working. We served as like RAs on the campus for this summer program. It was dope. Really did like a lot of touristy shit and just went around, traveled. Uh, and just experience and just experience and live in LA for six weeks, which is like some of the greatest shit I've done. <laughs> Honestly, or, yeah, um, it was a great summer, you know. And I, actually, that was my first time on a plane and in California. It was wild. I'm not a fan of plane rides. Way too long. I don't like sitting that. I don't like sitting down that long. Honestly, <laughs> um, I wasn't scared of them like that. I just I just really do not like sitting down. Like it, as I'm recording this video, I might get. I probably will get up and go do something. Just because I, I don't like staying down so long. I know, nah, maybe like 20, 30 minutes an hour, you know, but like, if I was like three hours, four hours, and I, I, was, I was not for it. <laughs> it now, you know, I did, I went to Hollywood, blah, blah, all that shit. I lived, I lived, um, where I live? I live like 20 minutes away from the airport in Playa Vista. Um, not even 20 minutes, I like 15, honestly. Yeah, it was real close. I would hear the planes going over my head every at all time, pretty, pretty much. Um, some crazy man, the earthquakes ain't no joke. <laughs> um, I actually went. I actually was there for both earth or the aftershocks, aftershocks of the earthquakes. I wasn't even really close to where they were happening. They were like miles, and miles north of me. Um, but yeah, I was, just, I was, just, I was the first time. This is my first time I, uh, ever experiencing an earthquake. So I was just sitting there. I was my, in the classroom, and I just my chair started shaking. And I'm what the what the am I tweaking? <laughs> like what's going on? So now I'm looking at the, the board, and the board shaking too. I'm like, is this an earthquake right now? <laughs> and like I was just kind of froze. I was just looking at people around me, and they was just going on about their time. And mind you, they they not from here either. I'm just, but I don't think they were noticing that because they were on the ground. I was just sitting, on the, and I was the only person sitting in the chair. And I'm like. Am I tweaking right now? And I, I saw the teacher look up, and she noticed that the earthquake happens, and I was like, "Whoa!" And the second time, um, I was outside, but I, once again, I was singing down. <laughs> you know, I like to sit down a lot, honestly, but like not for, like I said, not for a long time. <laughs> um, I was sitting down again. I started feeling sick. I was like, "Yo!" Like I know I had like two milkshakes earlier and some ice cream, but like my stomach is fucked up. <laughs> um. Yeah, uh, yeah, I just started feeling nauseous. I'm like, yo, like, I'm off to shit myself or what? <laughs> and then, um, it turned, I checked my phone and it was like another earthquake again. It was an aftershock of an earthquake, and I was like, oh my god, like, these motherfuckers just coming, these just coming out of nowhere. They just keep on happening. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was my experience in LA. Great time though. But we'll go back again. I'm not sure if I would live there. It's very hectic. I would definitely live by. Downtown LA or something like that, but I could I only I live in the city because I mean I live in the city now in Chicago And you know getting away going to like the suburbs. It's always nice. It's always peaceful and quiet You know, I, I love that. I like a peaceful quiet vibe, but I also like the city energy too So find that in between for me, you know, it would be nice But that's about it. it's not right here. You know, right? You're not here to listen to me about listen to me about my summer This this is gonna be a different video. We're doing a little Q&A for my um for my first years at college, you know Specifically, DePaul University. Um, you know, I just thought it'd be a good video to shoot. I actually just looked up some questions um, that that people coming from high school should ask um, people in college. So, you know, these are just general questions. So it's not it's not really specific to DePaul, but like it's just first year questions in general. You know, and um, you know, I know a lot of you a lot of people have just started the school year. Or started maybe two, three weeks ago, maybe a month ago. So, you know, just the questions to ask you, or questions to answer for you, you know. 
The IP wait, this is specific to the ball. I'm sorry, I don't get confused. <laughs> okay, first question. And I put the questions on the screen too, just in case you don't hear me or you know, blah blah blah. Why did you pick to wait, let's see. Um, let's start with an easy one. What are you studying here? So at the Paul, I am studying um okay, well I know other people probably said accounting. No, nah, f that. <laughs> oh, yeah, skip that. I'm actually I changed my major to marketing with a concentration in digital media. So like, you know, social media and stuff like that. I'm looking to be a social media uh marketer and stuff like that, you know, just do do with social media. I feel like I'm really good with social media anyway. Um and just have a good presence on there. So it changed to marketing with a minor in accountancy. Um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. I like it, you know? Off a lot of different programs. I'm very connected throughout the uh, business department. You know, a lot of the internships and stuff come, you know, can come your way, especially at DePaul. Like, I feel like the resources are shared a lot within the network, you know? Um, you know, one thing I've always heard, and you probably have heard this too, your network is your net worth. Bring it back, bring it back. Hey, we gonna bring it back, bring it back. He, I'm, I had to drop a gym for y'all real quick. Your net work is your net net work. You feel me? So you know, who you know is um basically how you get your money. <laughs> mm. Yo, it's lemonade. Oh my god, this lemonade is so good. It's like so sweet, but like not sour at the same time. You know, it's just it's just refreshing. Um. So yeah, you know, just make sure you bring connections while. Going towards your goal this is probably the best way to go, honestly. Um, uh, what was your look, what was your freshman experience like? Now, before I got, I got a text. Um, what was your freshman experience like? My freshman experience. Okay, okay, okay. Bring it back. First thing I'll say is. Your experience is what you make it. You can't expect just because college is known as being lit, um, that you can go in your college gonna be lit. Um, but honestly, if you make it lit, it's gonna be lit. Do the things you want to do, and you know, go to the place you want to, hang out with who you want to, and you're gonna be lit. You know. So my experience was, my I didn't have a roommate, <laughs> uh, and that that my experience is not comparable at all. I'm probably like one in a thousand that this happens to. I'm gonna explain everything though. Now, I actually need to do some story time. So, I had my roommate. I had also in the, my first thing I was in the suite. And I, you can go back to my old vlog when I first moved in. You can see I was in the suite. I had me and my roommate connected bathroom, and then a, a, two other two, uh, two other people in the next suite. So we should, you know, four people share the bathroom essentially. It turns out my roommate literally lives. A train stop away, so he would just go home and chill. He was literally never there. Like he'd be there from like 12 to like 2 p.m. just chilling and leave. So I didn't have a roommate. <laughs> and then um, my sweet mate actually got kicked out. Or one of my sweet mates actually got kicked out. Winter quarter. Yeah, he was in the winter. Winter quarter. He got kicked out. Uh, he got kicked off campus. And um, my other uh, other sweet mate. Got moved back to California, and because he just wasn't a fan of Paul, he's like, I don't like Chicago. I'm just going back. So like well, around winter, spring, I got the whole suite to myself. Meaning, I can I, I combined my beds, my twin size bed. I had one big full bed, and in the next room I had the party room. So I had like uh, a table in there. You know, we could play games, little uh, cup games and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it was lit. You know, it was pretty fun. You know, I. And my dorm hall was low key, like super social. So, like, I would just go outside, go talk to different people, you know, I, just, you know, make connections, talk to people, make friends. So, yeah, I would say my freshman year was pretty lit, actually. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, <laughs> you know, especially with me, I'm from Evanston, so, like, that's a suburb, like, literally, like, 30 minutes away from where I live now, or 30 minutes from campus. So, a lot, a lot of people from Evanston came here. In my grade alone, I think we came, like, 12 to 15 deep, 10 to 15 deep, I'll say. Um, and these was like 10 to 15 people I like legit knew and like could go to and hang out. Like, you know, shout, shout out my E-Town gang. <laughs> uh, like, you know. So yeah, coming to college, it was really like, I already had somewhat of a friend group. I already 
knew some people and knew some things to do. Especially with me being from the city, or the, you know, being familiar with the city, I kind of knew like where it was going to be like anyway. So you know, I just I just made the most of it, honestly. You know, I won't say the Paul's the most lit school because it's not it's not going. You know, if you're looking at it for like a a state school experience, or like we can party every weekend, go crazy, and house party, that's not it. That stop, get out, <laughs> don't do it. But like. You could definitely still have a fun time. Um, you're still in the city. A lot, there's lots of schools where you won't be in the city, or you won't have to be in the city around you. Look at U of I, Urbana Champagne. You know the cornfield down there? Yeah. No. <laughs> no way. You know. And now I'm not throwing a little shade at U of I. My homie told U of I, but I cannot be around no cornfields. No, <laughs> that's not happening. Um, but yeah, so that's my freshman experience. Um, academically. You know, it was freshman, you know, I was just getting adjusted. I did well though, you know, classes weren't that bad. Um, and you know, it was just, you know, freshman year is a key time to like lock in on resources and like people you want to go to and know who, know who you can go to and stuff like that. So, you know, making sure you speak up and talk to people. Be social, don't be anti social. How approachable are the staff, facility, and administration? Okay, um, I say they're very approachable. I haven't talked to literally everybody, but that's just me being like a social bunny. You know, I like to talk to people. I'll, we can talk about anything, like literally, I'll make conversation about anything. If I feel like talking, there's something I just don't feel like talking, and you'll just see my my headphones in. Um, but, yeah, I mean, besides that, like, I won't say the staff, the staff, and like, you know, the people who work here, or even attend here, and the students, they're pretty approachable. They're not like your typical, like, Chicago people, because if you've been to Chicago, or you're looking to go to Chicago, a lot of people are not approachable. You know, everybody, especially downtown, man, fuck downtown. <laughs> a lot of people always walk with their headphones in, walking fast. Downtown, you really, it, that culture is so, it's so fast paced, it's like you just worry about yourself, and then just getting from point A to point B, and not really caring what's in between, you know? Um, we're not looking to talk. And I know that's from my experience too. I, I I'm guilty of that too. I just, when I'm downtown, I'm just trying to get to the train or get to class. I'm not looking to talk, but like in Lincoln Park, you know, it's very friendly, very like welcoming and open, you know. Um, the city's our campus, face ass. <laughs> but um, but yeah, so you know, it's just it's it's it, it's a nice campus to like I guess meet people and you know people want to meet people obviously. So you know, um. Yeah, just being open, you, you know, just make sure you're open and willing to go conversate and meet people. Just like people, and so will other people, you know. It's easy to make friends, I would say. Let's see. What sort of campus events does the school put on? Um, so, the Paul, we have a lot of different events, actually. Like, big events, I would say, fast. Um... That recorded fast. Oh, I didn't post it. <laughs> um, fast is like, it's like a concert. We have a concert every year in like May, yeah, May, May, June ish, you know, before we get out. And, you know, we get like an opener and headliner. So, um, my freshman year, we had BJ, the Chicago kid, and Ace at Ferg. And that was lit. Don't tweak. That was a lit concert. Uh, energy was great. The songs were great. It was, it was good. Last year, we had. 383 three, H3O, some shit. Um, <laughs> three, eight, what, the, what is her name? I don't know. We had somebody open who made some. Uh, I don't know. Some Somebody open. 3H3O H3, something like that. It's something like 3O H3, something like that. And we had a little Yachty. Now, I'm a big Yachty fan. I am a huge Yachty fan. But, like, you know, it, people sleep on his performance. I feel like his performance was decent, you know. Um, I didn't record that much, it, man, it, cause it gets wild, it's like, I don't know, for people who've been to like a festival, like Lollapalooza or stuff like that, you know, it, it, it's kind of similar to that, like, people are going crazy, lit, you got mosh pits and stuff like that, um, yeah, it's too much to record, I'm not gonna lie to you, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, um, but, you know, that, that's, that's one of the things, so that's a great thing to go out to, and the Paul has those on a lot of different events, like, the other day I came I came back from work and like there's a Ferris wheel in the parking lot and like a whole bunch of games and stuff like that and free food and like food trucks. Oh, that's for the um we got a volleyball game. I was, it was just crazy. Like, you know, they just ran and stuff like that. So they just, they just had like food in the quad with games and stuff like that. Um so you know, safe to say. 
The pause is based upon the pause without a lot of food. <laughs> a lot of events include giving out food and having food. Um, present. The events are endless at the Paul, honestly. Like, I know every Thursday there's this thing called the Paul After Dark, where they do events like laser tag and and dance parties and stuff like that. And it's just, it's all in the students' hands. Like, the student, if you want to do something, just go to the students' hands and they'll, they'll get you right. <laughs> they'll get you right. You can do it. You'll have so much fun. Favorite place to eat? Um, I don't know if I should answer this on campus or I'll answer both on campus and off campus. On campus, um, it'll be this place called 312. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 312. It's like a breakfast slash lunch dinner place. It's like, it's open all day. Um, it's open to like 11.30 at night, something like that. Yeah, 11.30. Um, like pancakes, they got um, burgers, chicken sandwiches, salads. There's a whole bunch of stuff. The food's pretty decent. I'm not gonna lie, it was trash last year. Like. It was terrible, man. I'm glad y'all upped y'all food, because I, I did not want to talk bad about y'all in the video, but I, <laughs> yeah, it was trash last year. My freshman year, it was decent, you know? I would say this year's probably been the best. It's, it's solid so far. I'm not gonna jinx, you know, let me knock on some wood. Knock some wood real quick. I'm not gonna jinx it. It was, it was you know, it's, it's going well. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of Paul. You're doing good about dying this year. Um, But yeah, so that's gonna do it for this video, y'all. Thank you for lot. thank you for watching. Drop a like. Subscribe, turn my post notifications on. I'm gonna keep telling y'all that because when I do post, I need y'all to watch it so we can get this these subscribers up. I'm trying to hit, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers this year at least. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna be making videos, putting them out when I can. And yeah. Um, oh, and share the video with your friends. Throw it on Facebook. I know, I know. Okay, I know my uh, high school seniors. You know, y'all probably starting to look at colleges now. My income, my, my freshman. Y'all been in college for a little bit, probably got some questions. Especially my DePaul freshman, you know. Um, but yeah, so I will catch y'all. J-Bands, peace.